to explain how to go about creating a BKT application in Katia. Uh, a BKT application is Business Knowledge Template and uh, it utilizes Knowledgeware to build and execute applications. So we're going to look at this simple example of a wheel design and a wheel is made up of several features that we'll look at in detail. But in planning to make an application there's some thir certain things that we should do in advance. So we should identify the configurations of this wheel, uh, we should define a process map, we should build the templates, catalog the templates, build the application, and then test the application. So here you can see uh, the possible configurations that um, could be built from some templates. So identify the templates, identify the configurations, and identified how many possibilities there are to build. So um, in this example, six templates with some attributes could generate a hundred different, uh, hundred different wheel designs. So one way we could go about um, doing this is, uh, you know, we could think about doing it by controlling the activity state. We could build everything into one cat part, and then by changing some parameters, we could control the activity state, turning on and off different features. This example leads to some confusion and ambiguous modeling practices. If uh, you receive a model that has deactivated features in it, do you know that those deactivated features are deactivated because there's an error in the model or because the uh, designer intended for the state to be inactive? Sometimes this can lead to confusion and maybe is not a best modeling practice. So to continue, we want to create a process map. And when we create a process map, we can identify what parameters are driving um, different features to be instantiated, or when we should instantiate features. Once we understand the configuration, once we have a process map and we've built the templates, we then catalog them. And by using the catalog, we can build up uh, any number in our case, a hundred different wheel examples. Once the application gets executed, you'll see the design is much more straightforward. There's no deactivated features in the tree. I have two examples shown here uh, with different configurations, uh, but they use the same templates and they use the same catalog uh, and they use the same process, but they yield different results. So if we uh, go into Katia now, this is the BKT workbench and you can see that um, there's some process steps here. <clears throat> the first process step is a, a branching rule so depending on the process some features should be instantiated and some should not. So we will always instantiate a rim. Sometimes we need to instantiate this this small hub. We always have an access system. We'll always have a threaded hole. Sometimes we need a counter bore and sometimes we need a hole pattern. But all this activity of the steps depend on the branching rule. If a step is deactivated, that feature will not get instantiated. So if I expand these, um, you can better understand what I'm saying. We're filtering the catalog for a power copy, and then we're instantiating the template. In this case, when executed, if this feature is deactivated, that means that the catalog will not be filtered and the template will not be instantiated. So this is how we get the correct features in the tree. The wheel has some attributes. We can, we can define the hub type. The hub type can either be the small hub or it can be a full hub. We can define the rim outside diameter. We can define the axle diameter. We can define the number of holes. And we can actually put uh, some limitation on the number of holes. So. We can have multiple values here. It could be 0, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now we've built in some limitations. So it would make no sense to have a whole pattern of 1 or 2. So I've restricted that. And for this particular design, we, we do not want more than 6 holes.
Okay, once the application has been built and deployed, um, we can go to the start menu and we can see that business process applications have been extended in the menu and we have uh, an option for co-wheel. Co-wheel is a part workbench. It's a, we're able to create pro product workbenches and part workbenches. I'm going to apply these functions to the part. Under the function, we have some dedicated attributes. The attributes will define the configuration of the wheel. So you can see there are many predefined variables here. And we can just select exactly what we want to build. Now that we've set the attributes, now we can go ahead and build this particular wheel. And this will give us one of our 100 possible wheel configurations. So this is the end result of the first wheel. We could build another with totally different results. So in this case, we'll build the full option and six holes. So I've got a different wheel configuration, different features in the tree. Again, all the features are active because these features represent the features that we've built. There's no extra features in the tree to manage the activity state of. Um, it's not an ambiguous design. It's a straightforward uh, design process.